Hey everybody, this is Brent in Central Arkansas. I'm going to do a pepper uh, comparison of sorts. I uh, picked up this red bell pepper from um, my feed store, and it's a typical pepper. This one's a Bonnie, uh, it's just called a red bell sweet pepper. I don't even know if it's a hybrid, probably not. Anyway, one of the problems I have and have seen other people talk about is the ability to grow bell peppers. And the only real advantage I can see to growing bells over another type of pepper that's very bell-like is stuffing them. And we don't stuff a lot, but we eat a lot of bell pepper in our various uh, fixing, how we fix our food and prepare our food. So the, the problem I have with bell peppers is they're not very productive and they take a long time to size up. It takes a while to get from this to this to the full size. And so, and they just don't put on a lot. So once you pick a pepper, um, there's just not a whole lot of extra. Let me take you over to a pepper I'm breeding I call um, Three Colors. And the reason why I call it Three Colors is just a, kind of a interim name right now for it. Uh, because it, it it changes from a light color like this to an orange like you can see back here to a very beautiful red like a candy apple red I don't see a mature enough one on here this one is quite a bit younger than that bell I just showed you and it's significantly more productive uh, than the bell so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a green and um, green slash immature pepper, a green bell pepper over there from the Bonnie, and one of these um, immature. You know they're mature when they change to full red. That's how you know they're mature. But when they're light color like this, they'll size up and then they'll take a while to change color. But they're completely edible from all stages. Here's one that's starting to turn. So. This is a, is a fantastic plant that I'm developing. I like it a lot uh, for a couple different reasons. One is it's very compact and it's very productive. So if we need a bell pepper, I can come up here and just, a bell pepper like pepper. I just come out here and yank three or four of these off and it's just like, I didn't even take any off the plant. It produces so much. And this is just now starting to get into its really productive phase, even though it's September. Uh, because it was planted so late. So I'm going to do a comparison at green and then hopefully there's enough time to do a comparison at red. Quickly before I head inside here, I went on the back side of the plant. There's that orange one that you see. Let me pull that out. Um, and you can see in here that I've got one that's starting to change to a red color here. It's uh, probably a few, maybe five to seven days off from being completely a brilliant red, a brilliant candy apple red color. All right, I took a smaller one. These actually get a little bigger than this before they uh, stop growing. And of course, a bell pepper that's quite immature. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them open and we're gonna look at the wall thickness and then I'll get a taste test. And what I'm really looking for is a bell pepper replacement. That was the whole point of breeding this one. It's because we don't do stuffed and there's just not a need to pick for us I mean I'm talking about us there's not a need to pick big bell peppers and have way more bell pepper than we'll actually use uh, and then have to freeze or something when I can grow the plant all year long and just pick them as I need them so that's the reason why I bred this one three colors and that's a tentative name so let me just cut it in half here and we'll look at the wall thickness compared to the bell bring them up to you. Now if you look at the thickness there, it appears, let me look uh, outside of the camera view, yeah it appears to me that the three colors, this one is, um, has a little thicker walls. A lot of times bell peppers will have thicker walls than this. So, and I've seen three colors thicker than this too. So I think we can say that they're comparable um, in thickness, wall thickness. So I'm going to, one of the things we did with this 
a um, couple seasons back was we made um, these little pickled rings like this. So I'm going to get a piece of each one of these and I'm going to compare the taste and just, I'm not going to show my face here, you know, I just comment on them. So we'll taste the bell first. Okay, bell pepper has a pungent, unfinished flavor, and I think that's what makes them attractive to cook with. It's not spicy at all. There's no spice to it. It's just very, I don't know how to describe it, bell pepper-like. <laughs> it's just very bell pepper-like. It, it, um, it's not something you would just kind of eat on its own unripe. I mean, maybe ripe they get sweeter enough to eat and throw on salads and stuff like that. But by itself, it's a complementary addition. And that's more or less the whole point of peppers in the way we see things. They're complementary. Alright, I'm going to test three colors here. Very crunchy, less um, skin feel. And I know with this bell pepper here, I could I could detect the skin a good bit better more than this. This one is a little bit less pungent than the bell, but very very close to it. It also has zero heat to it, and it's sweeter. It's a little sweeter. I'm really surprised at this stage that it's sweet. So, uh, I'm taking another bite. Yeah, I like these. I like this better by far. Just not, just eating it, it doesn't make me go whoa. <laughs> it's kind of sharp or whatever that is that makes that bell pepper flavor. This is um, much better eating to me. So I'm gonna keep going with the breeding. I know what this tastes like right, but I'll describe that in another video later on. We'll go ahead and get this one published. Mm. Okay, to end this video, I'm gonna explain how Three Colors was developed. <clears throat> Excuse me. Three Colors was developed from my pepper, a Santa Fe type pepper called um, California Brian. California Brian, the pepper I developed that's a spicy version of this, also goes through the same color spectrum. I have a video on that too. You can look it up by uh, the words California Brian. Let me touch the back of the camera here because it's it faded to black. So California Brian was a dehybridization of mariachi, and the dehybridized version of mariachi um, it was more productive and uh, a better plant than actual mariachi. But it was about half the spice level of a jalapeno was a good bit milder, not a good bit, but a little bit milder than the mariachi that it was dehybridized from. So that pepper grew great. Um, I have that pepper and I continue to grow that pepper. In fact, I've uh, let that seed go to an individual right now that's going to grow it and tell me his thoughts on it uh, next spring. But um, yeah, um, the, Marriott, or the California Brian was developed from that. It was carried to open pollinated at Probably three seasons ago, I'm guessing, I crossed California Brian with the lipstick pepper because the lipstick was um, about the same shape, similar. You may categorize them differently, but to me, a, more or less, the species is a species. So I think the lipstick is sometimes referred to as a paprika type pepper. I don't know, whereas the California Brian might be considered a Santa Fe Grande, 
but really they're very similar looking and the pepper's a pepper. They were both the same species. So I crossed California Brian to lipstick, like I said, and my intent for doing that was to create a similar or carry on with California Brian, but I wanted to make it even less spicy. I wanted it to be around the 500 Scoville where you could eat one. Most people that can't tolerate really hot stuff could eat it and, um, and not throw a fit. In other words, it'll be more attractive to more people. I know pepper hotheads are, um, they really like their hot peppers and they grow the dickens out of them, trying to get them absolutely as hot as possible. I'm not one to do that. I don't understand the reasoning to do that because a spicy jalapeno to me is more than spicy to add to any dish to make it spicier. And so to me, it's kind of a novelty thing. But anyway, um, there are a lot of pepper heads out there and they'll, they'll talk to you about the difference in taste and all that kind of stuff. But I can't tolerate heat very well. My wife surely can't tolerate heat. I'm good to jalapeno, uh, jalapeno level in California Brian, which was one of the parents of this one is um, is very tolerable to me in small amounts. So this one came out, um, it was one of probably last year is one I noticed one didn't have any heat. And so I planted out that plant and only this one plant here came in with no heat. The others reverted back to having some heat. Very, very mild, but some heat. And the good thing about this one is it's productive as you've seen and uh, it's just very compact and just super easy to grow. So that's the story behind um, Three Colors. I don't know if I'll eventually rename it. Three Colors seems a little bit, you know, unusual, but who knows. So, um, yep, that's the story and that's a comparison of a bell pepper to Three Colors and I intend to keep going with it for sure. Um, I'm probably going to try to overwinter this one plant and of course I'm going to save seed and uh, continue the generations till it's open pollinated. I think it's on the seed I would save from this, not this particular fruit, it has to be red to save seed, uh, would be F4. I think this one is F3, this may be F4 with the next generation F5, I'm not sure, but it's fairly stabilized even at this point and I'm going to keep going with it because it meets our needs better than a regular bell would. It has a great bell-like flavor, a really good pepper flavor that's similar to bell pepper, but not quite as strong a bell pepper as that one. This French guys, I'll try to get you the next video when they're right. How long do we gotta stay here for people we don't know? Cars and who knows who Yeah, I know what they want to say They're gonna ask me if I'm gonna make it I don't care if I'm gonna have to fake it Long as I can be real